When we set out to write Becoming a Supple Leopard over a decade ago, our priorities were really twofold. First, we wanted to democratize how people could care for themselves and how they could more completely own how their bodies work. Second, we set out to create a model that sought to simplify complex human movement behavior. We created the archetype model so that a coach or athlete could see the root or base positions and shapes underpinning movement phenomenon. What we ended up realizing was that BASL was missing a set of guidelines that informed how a person might actually live their lives day to day. We were missing a set of objective, physical, and movement vital signs that supported a person trying to get faster, get stronger, win a world championship, gold medal world cup, or just be more durable in general. People ask us all the time, what would we change about becoming a supple leopard, knowing what we know now? The answer is simple. That book needed a heart. It needed built to move.